Hey guys, good morning. And uh, today we are going to see how I am assembling my uh, RC quadcopter uh, transmitter module. So I will be showing you the individual parts and then I will be putting, toge putting it together to make uh, an individual module. And this is not the software part. I haven't tested any softwares yet. So this is just going to be a hardware assembly. Uh, this is the control board for the RC uh, quadcopter transmitter. Uh, this is the heart of the board which is uh, Atmega 328 and this is an EEPROM IC just used to hold the values of PID and other user input parameters uh, because uh, you know whenever a user switches off and comes back again I want the values to be there it's interfaced to this Atmega 328 via I2C and this is the ICSP pro port for uh, programming this board I don't I'm not using crystal because uh, this is not going to be a, a project which requires time precision I'm not even uh, going to use uh, any timer so I think uh, the internal RC uh, of 8 megahertz I think uh, yeah uh, Atmega 328 has 8 megahertz which is more than enough to run the board and I have some uh, power outlets here and some other power outlets here a reset button and that's it it's a very simple board I just constructed on a general purpose PCB so this is a 16 by 2 LCD which I'll be using it with an I2C converter so I2C converter is just to save the pins on the Atmega 328 uh, I can't afford to lose so many pins on the Atmega 328 because the Atmega 328 already has very less number of pins and with the vast number of inputs that I'll be using I think it's much better to use an I2C converter uh, this is just for interactive menu and uh, so that user can enter the values of PID and other parameters for controlling pitch roll and yeah I'll be using uh, two joystick modules so you can see here so it has a, a ground a plus 5 volt which is obvious and we have two other uh, pins VRX and VRY which generally uh, gives a voltage of 0 to 5 volts depending on the position of this joystick and it also has a switch you can just press down it so this is a switch here which is actually a reset button and whenever you press on this uh, you get a uh, zero on the switch on the switch pin and this one is the LM2596 uh, DC DC converter so I'll be providing uh, around 12 to 16 volts on this and I'll be getting 5 volt across this uh, to vary the output voltage you just have to vary the potentiometer here so it's very precise so uh, make sure <coughs> you uh, keep it at a position so that you get around uh, 5 volt. This is the NRF24L01. Uh, these are transceivers actually. It can send data and receive data or uh, do both simultaneously, I guess. And they, they are claiming a range of around 300 meters without any obstruction. And there is also another version with an external uh, antenna. Uh, instead of this uh, SMD antenna, they have an external antenna like this. Uh, and they are climbing the range to be around 900 meters I haven't tested these modules but uh, it has an 8 pin header so it's interfaced to the Atmega 328 via SPA protocol so I'll be posting the range test of this modules in a separate video but this is the wireless transceivers that I'm going to use with this the last thing is <coughs> This is my quadcopter case uh, into which I will be mounting all uh, the sensors and the boards uh, whatever I have shown you till now. So I will be mounting it and I also drill some holes to screw it in place. So you might wonder what is the potentiometer doing here. So actually with this module there is a problem you know. Uh, when you start a quadcopter so initially the throttle position should be at zero. but uh, on this module they have a spring and no matter what it just comes back to the center position so I really can't uh, open this and take out the spring you might not know uh, how much will be the thrust uh, produced by the four motors so I'm using a potentiometer here so which is varied and since poten uh, throttle is not varied that much I think a potentiometer would do the job but I would advise you to go for a joystick module which has throttle without any springs okay 
I really can't find one in India. I need to import it, but uh, it comes around uh, more than uh, 20 bucks. And really, 20 bucks just for a single joystick module is so much. So uh, I'm using a potentiometer here. Uh, but in your case, I think uh, you should go for a joystick, as well, uh, which is uh, dedicated to throttle. Okay. And let's assemble it now. So this is the final product after assembling. Uh, I just need to tuck in these wires. So this is the NRF24L01 and this is how the module looks and this is the AVR USB ASP programmer that I will be programming via AVR root command and these will be to the external buttons to program the PDI values and uh, other parameters these are two joysticks mounted and here we have a knob all right this takes care of the altitude so that's it so right now this is all the output i am getting because i haven't programmed my controller yet so this is the circuit diagram with which i have wired the circuit and you can also refer to the circuit diagram you can download it from the link given in the description below and this concludes our uh, hardware assembly so thank you for watching and please subscribe and like and share this video see you with the next video thank you